I'm at DJX standing in line to check in. This guy walks past the line and he's carrying this big. Sorry, hang on a second. This is Aaron. Uh huh. No, no, no. I'm work. I'm gonna work on it. No, trust me, I'm gonna be at my desk all day. I'm in line at DJX, this guy walks past, he's got the brand new Denon Prime 4 Plus. So I go up to him, what's up man, this is cool, he's got the Prime 4 Plus. He's like, yeah, I kind of, uh, I'm a rep for Denon. I'm like, oh, perfect, I got some questions for you. And the biggest question I have for him was, are you guys gonna make a Prime 2 Plus, a Go Plus? Are we updating the hardware for the other, you know, the other Prime series? And he sort of was uh, kind of letting me know and not telling me, but sort of telling me that doesn't look like it. I said, well, why? And he goes, because they're just not as popular as the Prime 4, which is such a bummer. Because I think the Prime 2 is a great mobile DJ controller. And, and three years ago when I got it, Denon was like way ahead of the game, right? I thought they were the, pioneer <laughs> the pioneers of you know moving forward in DJ tech. And then Pioneer just started slowly pulling ahead. L let me order a drink real quick. Okay, one of the main reasons why I want the Prime 2 to update its hardware is so that we could have stems. From what I've read on forums and heard from other people is that the, right now, Prime 2, the Go, cannot handle stems. It's got to be uh, upgrading the hardware in order to handle what it can do, right? So as long as there's no Prime 2 Plus, I don't see any reason why I'm going to stick around with the Prime series if we can't get into stems, because I really want stems. Now the Rev 5 is interesting to me because the Cosmopolitan, sir. But Cosmo, I <laughs> no, that's not what I ordered. I um um just for purposes of just charge it to my card. I I seriously didn't get Anyways. this. I Why the Rev 5? Um, thick, the Rev 5 dark beer. It's intriguing to me for a couple of things. I love the fact that it's got those paddle effects. Yeah, it doesn't have onboard effects, and that's kind of a bummer. But that's okay. I feel like by not doing that, maybe we save some money. Although it is kind of expensive. Almost, almost $1,200 for a controller. But honestly, that seems to be how much controllers cost now. They are expensive. Like, you really can't get anything for under $1,000. So the Rev 5. Right, we got the paddle effects. Stem buttons, which I think is is great something. I've always wanted on the you know being able to hit the buttons and do the stems that way It's really interesting. They're doing USB-C. I love that they're doing USB-C not only to connect to your laptop But also to power it. I think that is a great great feature and will really come in handy especially Probably more for club DJs, right? You're just kind of showing up. You can just bring your laptop charger and plug in your controller You're good to go for me. It's gonna go directly into my DJ furniture so less cables, less bulky bricks in there, the better. Some of you guys might be wondering if I'm worried about switching back to Serato, the biggest difference is I am a little bit. However, I'm excited about a couple things. One, now I can really run the whole event from my laptop. Someone comes up or if I accidentally forgot a song, I can just pull it up from my folder, dump it right into the software and boom, it's ready to go. With engine, I got to eject the SD card, I got to pull up engine, I got to drop it in, then I got to resync it, eject the SD card, put it back in the controller, and then roll with it. So that's a plus. I think the fact that with some of the prep, like music prep I need to do, I'm not really getting to take advantage of like what Vibo can do in terms of preparation, where it can like scan your music library, create crates for you right away. Same thing with Crate Hackers. I'm in that as well, and I know that like you can just click a button and it'll create a crate right from their crates and it'll just load it right into Serato. Can't do that. I know there's an option to do an M3U export, but here's the issue I've had with that. Whenever I get that into Engine, which I have to do via iTunes or music, it doesn't have any of the metadata that I need. Like none of my cue points, nothing is saved in it, which is kind of annoying. So that doesn't help me at all with music prep. There is a downside to all this. And the fact is I have to now wait for this controller, which is my least favorite part. I hate waiting. Here's your package, bro. Is this the new Rev 5? Rev 5, I don't know. I think it's uh, some bananas and uh, adult diapers. Right now, it looks like the worst part of this whole deal is I gotta wait. I was hoping that that was it. It's not. So when am I gonna get this thing? They're telling me that it's gonna come probably in middle of September. And it's August right now, August 22nd. And I was supposed to get it earlier today, but it's not coming. So I have no idea when this thing's gonna get here. 
And what else do I gotta do? I gotta get a couple other things, okay? First thing I gotta get is a new laptop. My laptop isn't fast enough for stems, which kind of sucks. So I gotta get one with an M2. Next thing I gotta get is a new top for my furniture. I already reached out to Danny Max and he already sent me a Rev 5. So if you need one of those, he can get that for you right away. So laptop, new top for the furniture. The other thing I need to get is new skin on it because I want it to look white to match my furniture. I reached out to my guys at Skin It. They don't have a skin for it yet, but they said that if I um, bring over the one that I get, like as soon as I get it, I can bring it over to them, then they'll make it for me, all right? So that can be something you guys look forward to as well. Then I just gotta get another cover for my laptop with my name on it, because I love that. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of an expense doing the switch. Leave me in the comments what you guys think. Hit that like button, especially because in the next couple of months, I will have my hands on that Rev 5 and I will be using it, and I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about it. Thanks for watching. I'm heading back to the bar, get another Cosmo. I'll see you at the next one. Bye.